This is Matrix Lord 212, and I want to make a chart reference um, to discuss the timeline theory. All right. So what I'm going to do is I, I hope you could see it here. I tried to make a chart. All right. And basically, I'm going to explain the timelines. All right. Um, in timeline one, you have Amelia Pond, where her parents went inside the crack, and she she grew up without her parents. Okay. Um, and basically. What happens at the end of the Big Bang? See, this is the this is the crack in the skins of the universe, right? So this is a, a crack in a bedroom wall. Okay, <clears throat> at the end, the Doctor goes into the crack, okay, and then pops out in timeline two, which I mean, he just it, it's another universe, another universe where you know at the end of the Big Bang where. The universe is rebooted, a brand new universe. Amelia Pond's parents are there, and here's the doctor. Okay, so in other words, in this universe, um, the eleventh hour never happened. Okay, but yet it did. Like she has memories of this. Okay, and then we have another universe, which you know is to do with a time is rewritten again, and in this one we have Amelia growing up with Mel's, her parents, and Rory, okay? Um, and that's basically, time keeps getting rewritten, all right? Now, I'm going to show another example of the timelines. Uh, basically, in timeline one, we have what we didn't get to see. The impossible astronaut kills the doctor. No one is present, okay? And because a river song uh, is studying archaeology and everything, it tends she somehow um, alters the timeline where then we get to timeline two where an impossible astronaut's there, kills a doctor, and Amy Rory and River are present. Uh, and he gave out uh, these notes for them to see him there as well as past self. Then we go to timeline three, which is the impossible astronaut uh, don't kill the doctor. Amy and Rory River present because River as the impossible astronaut misfires and it creates uh, this abandoned timeline. All right, and now if I can get this paper to show, basically once this timeline is abandoned, okay, uh, this is the Wedding River Song timeline. This is where they get married. Okay, um, when this gets changed, we go to I'm not going to call it timeline four. I'm going to call it timeline three B. And that's where the impossible astronaut kills the test selector and the doctor lives. Okay. And I think this has a, has something to do with the trailer because um, if you notice in the new trailer, uh, River Song says, you know, the doctor says, you changed the future. And she's like, uh, she says something to do with, yeah, because we're married. Uh, I don't think that was ever supposed to happen where the doctor was supposed to marry River Song. Uh, and I think because she sent out messages past present and future she basically had sent ripples altering time left and right uh, that time is constantly creating new timelines because of this message that she sent out okay um, if this timeline was abandoned but she still sent this stuff out before the timeline existed it's it's kinda wibbly wobbly Tommy wimey but you know what um, we, there's another theory too. Uh, I, I, every season you see that there's alternate timelines and stuff like that. Another alternate timeline was when basically the doctor was prevented, uh, and there was a new timeline where it was Amelia and her aunt, uh, and there was no other stars in the universe, no other planets, nothing, um, and basically the doctor. Um, from the future, I guess, sends messages to Amelia Pond to basically um, meet him at the Pandorica. Or I actually go to the Pandorica, the museum, see the Pandorica. Um, so, and here's Time and Wami too, because you know what? The TARDIS is probably tra constantly traveling to different timelines. It has to be. The TARDIS has to be traveling to different timelines because if the TARDIS wasn't able to travel to different timelines the Doctor, or not the TARDIS, to the Vortex, vortex Manipulator 
if there's a doctor, the timeline would cease to exist. I mean, it's kind of getting very complicated and silly. Um, but we do need the, the master Stephen Moffat to explain it to us because we're having all these new timelines and yet Amy still remembers every single one of them. So, you know, which timeline is what? What is exactly going on here? Okay. Uh, are we going to have multiple timelines in the Angels Take Manhattan? You betcha. All right. And a lot of things are going to be explained. So, um, that was my... my <laughs> crappy chart that I drew. So, uh, leave your comments below and please subscribe. Thanks.